Third by Corey Eggs who survived the post and the now Riddlers. Let's take a look. What's up YouTube? Welcome back to SO30 Aquatic. So I was really pleased to get this parcel in the post the other day and in that parcel was a test tube that had five stir by Corridor A. They came in a test tube with tank water and some Escher 2000 in it. So there you can see Corey stir by eggs, 24 degrees spawn 25th of April. So I followed the instructions on the label, put them in a tank at 24 degrees and made up a little breeder box for them which floated in another tank. I found that either takeaway tubs or ice cream tubs are good for that. And then what I did was I pierced the bottom of that tank so that the water flow would flow into the Cory breeder box and then by scooping it out over the top that would then change the water. And I've been doing that a few times a day so they've probably been getting a 50% water change two or three times a day. Where the sellotape is in the bottom of the breeder box is a little flap that I've made and that goes over the top of the sponge filter for the tank that it's in and that means that some of the bubbles from the tank below go into the breeder box and hence oxygenate the water that the stir by corries are in. So of the five eggs that were in the test tube two weren't viable three were and of those three all three became wrigglers. Honestly, when they became wrigglers, I was so excited and just watched them that I didn't get any footage. Now it's one day later and as you can see, we now have two survivors. I'll do some more update videos as they grow up and get bigger. But I just want to say a huge thank you to Steve from Aquarium Adventures Discord for sending these out to me. Like and subscribe to follow the Stirby journey and thanks for watching.